Countdown to Paris is sponsored by Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. All right, we're back now with the riddle. What is very tall, made of iron, and comes to mind when you think of Paris? No, it's not King. <laughs> I knew you were going to do Eiffel that. Tower, I couldn't, I I couldn't resist. The Eiffel Tower <laughs> is iconic. It will be at the center of the action during the 2024 Olympics. Kira Simmons is here with some things we might not know about the Eiffel Tower. I'm sorry, it was too easy. Oh, but this is romantic, isn't it? It is, really. The French bistro underneath the Eiffel Tower. What's happened to Just us? You. <laughs> Just it's you Paris. and I. You fall in love here. Yes. Awkward. Tour de Eiffel, they call it in French. Yes. How romantic is that? It always sounds more romantic in French, doesn't it? All right, let's get to the story. <laughs> so we met the great, great granddaughter of Gustave Eiffel, and he's gonna t she's going to tell us the connection between the Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty. We we've lost it. We've completely lost it. <laughs> Rising more than a thousand feet above the city of light, at night illuminating the Paris sky, the Eiffel Tower is one of the most iconic sights in the world and the centerpiece for the Olympics. Kicking off the countdown to the Games, it will tower over the event just as it did the last time the Olympics were here, 100 years ago. NBC News was given special access to the tower and an incredible insight into Gustav Eiffel himself, who designed her and helped design another beacon of freedom and modernity, the Statue of Liberty. Madame Eiffel. Miriam Lorna de Eiffel Bonjour. is Gustave Eiffel's great, great Merci. granddaughter. Look at this. This is formidable. As with so many modern ideas, the tower was not initially welcomed by all Parisians. She was too modern. She was too modern and, and, and she was frightening. It was a monster of iron. It's so frightening for people. Paris just wouldn't be Paris without the Eiffel Tower. She's more than 130 years old now, so it takes a little TLC to keep her functioning and beautiful. It's safe, right? It is, it is, it is. Because thanks to these guys, these guys, thanks to these guys, uh, it, it's safe. So it's a lot of painting, firstly, because all this. Uh, wow, well, look, because there's guys here, and there's guys, there were guys up here. So we have to paint it every seven years to protect the iron of the structures from the rust. Jean Francois Martin is Eiffel Tower president and helped lead the bid for Paris to make Olympic history again. In 1924, uh, for the Paris Olympics, it was the first competition that was um, live broadcasted on radio. And the radio was on the Eiffel Tower. So we have a story with the Olympics. Beneath the tower, a rare opportunity to see how the elevators work. What goes up must come down. They are hydraulic powered, using water, taking a hundred trips up and down each day. In the 19th century, this was an engineering feat. Helping folks avoid the stairs, there are a lot of them. But amazingly, Gustav Eiffel preferred them. And he would climb the stairs up here every day. He had uh, his office here, and uh, he went to very, every day to work. Should we go and meet your great-great-grandfather? That office still there today. Wow, this is amazing. And so moving for me too. My grandfather with uh, his blue eyes, a very athletic man. He was a swimmer, a fencer. And speaking of athletes, the tower will be a focal point of next year's Olympics. Several events taking place at the base. Just down there, the beach volleyball. You could call this the nosebleed seats. The centerpiece of the Paris Games, like her American cousin, the Statue of Liberty, represents a message from the past about believing in the future, about the power of hopes and dreams. And the Eiffel Tower will be open even during the Games. And because events will be on around the Eiffel Tower, you'll be able to go up there and watch from the tower, even if you don't get tickets. Oh, that's my gosh. Good, right? That's a pretty good nosebleed seat if you're going to have a right, pretty exactly cool. Right. All right, so yeah. we're wrapping our time up in Paris. Okay, do we wear the sunglasses? Oh, let's put the yeah. sunglasses okay. on. We, I heard right. that you have rosé back home in New York. Guys, are you there in the studio? Do you have a glass? Yes, yes. We, we sent you some Paris 2024 <laughs> wine glass. Isn't it like... <laughs> Oh, yes, it's very classy. That's how you pronounce it in French. It is. It's like... Jose. No, you're supposed to say... How do you say it? Jose. Jose is like Jose. And all right, here, you say instead of cheers, you say <laughs> Santé. Ready? One, two, three. Santé. Guys. <laughs> 
You, I know it Cheers. seems like we've already been drinking, but this is the first day of the day. <laughs> Won't be the last. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's Very nice. Oh, boy, that's delicious. You that just need delicious. a little... Savannah, cheese and some baguette. Uh, we know you had a great, great time there. You got us all pumped up for the Olympics, and we cannot, cannot wait for you to come back here and join us in the small. Uh, <laughs> it was. <laughs> well, when you make it sound like that, Hoda, yeah. I can't wait either. I look forward <laughs> we'll to seeing you. We'll bring you a little something from here. We, Thank you so much. We, Bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour. 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 We love you guys. Au revoir. 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 All right. We'll see SG soon enough back here yeah. in the States. Thank uh -huh. you very much. Another reminder, by the way, the Olympics and Paralympics are coming to NBC and Peacock next July. And for more Olympic fun, catch our Countdown Marathon all day on Today All Day. It's packed with great extended conversations with athletes to watch in 2024. And, of course, a look back at other amazing host cities. This is kind of prepping us for our day drinking that we'll be doing over there. <laughs> I cannot wait. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.